you are within your rights. I'll allow you that. But upon arrival of your appointed lawyer, you will begin to answer my questions. So help you God. understand and allow the truth to be revealed. Tell me, Menard, what brings one of us to kill? Side of a watcher, overlooking a young man. A young man surrounded by suggestion and speculation. It implies the truth can be found in the rumors. The only truth you will ever know is deception. Perhaps, but my curiosity remains intrigued. Leave. Is that an order? A warning. This boy means so much to you and your kind. Below, we mock you for the hope in faith you invest in him. Pathetic. You were supposed to protect him. for our Lord. He asks of you spare change for a servant of our Lord. A few pennies. Spite and hatred will haunt you, you selfish indulgence. You are blackened by sin, the angels declared. Thank you. Thank you. Our Lord Jesus Christ thanks those who are generous. He speaks to me. He speaks. Oh, <laughs> no, just some notes. Do you mind? No, go ahead. What are you working on? Uh, just some notes for my thesis. You go to college? Yeah, finishing up. What do you study? Journalism. You want to be a journalist, huh? Yeah. Like in the sports section or trashy tabloids? Uh, actually, I want to concentrate on humanitarian relief coverage. 
Okay. <laughs> Guess you got your focus straight on that one. <laughs> it's just something I think needs to be done. So what spurred you on that path in life? There was a group of missionaries who devoted their entire lives to helping people of a lesser fortune. People who were sick and dying. They fed and clothed them with what little they couldn't had. They educated them, and after years of loyal, selfless dedication, they were all murdered. Where did it happen? Pick a country. Chechnya, Cambodia, Ethiopia, it happens all the time. Relief workers either being kidnapped and murdered by rebels or, or caught in a feudal feud in the face of what they fight for and believe in. I want to show that to the world. I want to figure it out and present the stories of these people who go without notice. Sounds more like a search for humanity than a Pulitzer. I don't, I don't expect any awards. And maybe it is. You know, maybe in this world where the questions just keep rolling in, my only way of answering some of them is to go out into it. You know, I think you've got to be the most interesting usher I've ever had the pleasure of talking to. The pleasure was mine. Well, I better get back to work, and you have got some popcorn to sweep up. <laughs> hey, um, I'm going to this debate at my college tomorrow. It's about violence and how people have become desensitized to it. If you'd like to come... Are you asking me on a date? No. Well, if you'd like to see A debate. That... On a first date. That's different. Okay. Hey. Hey. Is that Chris kid still here? No, I think he just left. Why? If you see him before I do, tell him to take his personal business outside of work. His girlfriend's been calling all day. Humanitarian journalism. Right. <laughs> Your deceptions will prove to fail. Just a little salt to the scale. Pointless. His will is strong. He will not give up. It's the little things that wears man to beast. The fine line separates the years of evolution from savage to scholar. With little persuasion needed to evoke its true origins. My sympathies are with you for your vain efforts. Loneliness is a powerful tool. Has it been since the revolt? How long has it been since the war? Since one third of the angels were cast from heaven. And we, the remaining, left with secondary love to protect and care for these people. We were the ones he loved most. We were all that was until this creation. And I have served for eons, without judgment, without question, watching daily the wrongdoings of a beam whom I secretly pitied. And as our Lord once felt betrayal, I felt its coarse blade sear my loyalty. Betrayal from him for our replacements. And betrayal from them in spite of my intentions. So you tell me, what is there left? Christopher, 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 Christopher. Heed my words and leave this man be. The world is a playground for us all. You have no authority over me. But he has my protection, and I'll abide by my mission to any extent. You are a fool. A dog who helplessly devotes unaware. Hey! Oh. 
turned on you. On all of us when he created this pathetic creature. And now his love rests with them. How can you be faithful to a god that has rejected you? He loves us all and asks only for our assistance in helping them. But why? Are they really worth fighting for? eternity wasted on a doomed devotion there is no future here not with them not in this place they call home they destroy it by hey, the minute what are you doing the second with their irrelevant measure of time eating their existence inch by inch my mind cannot be swayed you waste your words and why do you listen ones being so worthy of your protection, your gracious savior. This. No. This was not us. How can you help something so self-destructive, so selfish and greedy, guilty of all and any sin ever known to our kind or any? We are guilty of far, far less, yet they reap the rewards. They earn his love. So fragile and vicious, filled with fear, loathing the unknown with such passion they kill without hesitation. You mean to tell me this is worth fighting for? You Stop mean to tell it. me this is what you saved? Stop this it. creature who took the life of your precious seed of light? The one who was to bring about peace, only to be murdered by someone he tried to help. <laughs> Light. He was your savior! Oh. You stole a life, Menard. Your path has been chosen. Welcome.